Hey guys, here we are again with a tutorial for the instant piston elevator. Um, I had to do some redesigning. Turns out there was a north-south quirk in the white wiring on the elevator which didn't allow it to be rotated 90 degrees. But that's been fixed now. It works uh, uh, under any angle. Uh, let me just show you guys briefly. So basically with this direction it works now. And this direction also works. It's just some redesigning and instead of posting a fix for my original tutorial I'm probably just going to delete that and upload this and this one should just be good and should probably be a bit faster than the old uh, tutorial because I wasn't really happy with the length of that. Could have been done a lot faster and sh should have been done a lot more clear and I, I mean I want good content for you guys. So yeah just gonna do it over again so let's get started so the whole thing is pretty modular and I try to highlight this by showing the green bit here which is basically the wiring for the bottom floor and then all these red and pink stuff is basically because it's modular four blocks and then above it's modular four blocks again so it keeps repeating the same thing all the way to the top floor where you're going to get another section of uh, seven blocks like that so uh, here I basically have highlighted the outlines of the elevator. This is where the elevator is going to go up and this is basically the outside. It's, uh, it's six wide itself the wiring but it is good to add a bit of outline f as a reference of what you're doing. So let me actually do that now. My elevator is not going to be that high seeing as I already did one that was pretty over the top. I'm just going to have bottom section, two modular sections, and then above that I'm going to get uh, the top floor like this. So this is how high my elevator is going to be. And if you want it uh, to be higher, higher, you just have to add more modular pieces. And it's probably advisable to make this uh, highlighted outline uh, on that other glowstone block there as well. So you have a good reference point when we're building. To add even more reference, I'm already going to add the bottom floor and the top floor to the elevator. Basically the bottom floor is two blocks down from the green block and the top floor is one block above the green block. Design this any way you like. Mine looks like this, but uh, it's your elevator. So let's build the main shaft of the elevator. What you do at the bottom floor, place two non-sticky pistons like this. And then sticky like that, non-sticky up. And now we're going to basically keep keep interchanging this all the way till you reach the top. Okay. Now you can stop once you reach the top floor level, basically. Now we come to a section which is based off of Browse of Steel's original principle where the piston pushes out and then upwards. At the bottom floor, what you're going to get is you're going to get this shape. So basically you reverse F and then these five blocks like that. Um, this is for the bottom floor. On the next floor you'll see better what's happening. And you're basically going to get four tick delay, one tick and one tick. Redstone, redstone. And then you're just going to keep interchanging that all the way, oh, all the way to the top. So just keep going like this. So one tick, one tick, four tick. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Cut it off and keep going up. At the top floor, it's a bit differently. Basically, you can cut this off, and you'll have a four tick delay repeater and a one tick with the redstone. And then on the other side, you can just cut it off completely, and you'll end up with a nice flat surface like that. At the back end of the elevator where you see the redstone coming out I'm going to place some birch bark. To me birch bark means that it's going to be a block that's going to be moved by pistons, by sticky pistons. Um, these sticky pistons will be used to allow the elevator to go down and to retract the whole thing making it instant. Next up we're going to do the up system, basically the signal that allows the elevator to move up quickly. I'm going for the setup where the elevator moves really fast. 
basically what you're going to get is you have a block coming out of the birch bark. Redstone does like that. And then uh, repeat it like that. And you just keep repeating this process until you reach the top. So one tick delay. Then you got these three blocks like that. Redstone there. One tick delay repeater and repeat. Once you reach the top, you can finish it off like this. From the last birch bark, you also get a one tick repeater and redstone like that. And that leads into a solid block, giving power to the circuit below. On the other side, it's exactly the same deal, but it's basically one block higher. So you have one block like that with a one tick delay repeater. Redstone dust, one tick delay repeater. And just keep going and repeat the process. Once you reach the top again, all you have to do is send the signal into the lapis block there and that wire is done. With all that out of the way, we can already wire up our button on the first floor. So this is part of the green circuit, basically, or the, the green part. Uh, so it's not modular. Basically, you're going to get a torch on the back end of the button, which is going to send a signal on top of that. Now, we can place glowstone there without it causing any burnouts, thanks to the nice properties glowstone have, has. Um, you can move this block, it's absolutely not necessary. And we're going to send the signal from the button all the way over here. And then here we're going to sneak it around the corner and we're going to get a whole bunch of four tick delay repeaters which are going to give us a bit of time to step on the elevator with before it leaves and then that's going to go send redstone there we're going to get another four tick delay repeater here which is going to send a signal to the bottom yellow circuit over there now obviously we also need a signal to go um to the other yellow to the other yellow circuit i'm actually going to leave some space for a different circuit so i'm going up a bit this is still fine and then here i'm going to get a one tick delay repeater and on top of this thing i'm actually going to get a four tick delay repeater now this is where the personal preference comes in if you want the elevator to go up fast you set these to one tick these two are together five ticks that's four tick if you want the elevator to go slow, you set this to two ticks. Actually, you set all of the ones on the yellow at two ticks, so also these. And you will set this one to two ticks as well. So combine six, and that's four. All the yellow ones at two. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to change it back. But that's how you change the speed of the elevator. If you have your elevator set at max speed, uh, you're likely going to get pushed off when uh, the elevator goes up. To prevent that from happening, we're going to place some non-sticky pistons here. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw power from the circuit here. And eventually that's going to power these torches or basically turn them on. So what we have to do is we have to uh, invert the signal again. And then once you've done that, Simply draw it there. As you can see now it's retracted and if this were to get unpowered this is going to prevent you from getting pushed off. If you have your elevator set at max speed like mine, you're going to need glass to prevent you from getting pushed off. If you have it set at low speed you can actually do without the glass and you can actually also do without the pistons going up. Now before we can run a test on the up system, you have to go down here and place some blocks I deliberately didn't add. Um, what you can also do now is you should make a backup if you want to test it. Um, because this system has to work now. And if it doesn't, you probably have to retrace your steps. So to test it, make sure you're going to stand in the middle of the elevator. That's the way it works. That's based on Browser Steel's design. Press the elevator, move in. This thing should come up. And then you should go up really fast like that. Now that the elevator is up, there's actually no way of getting it down again. So let's start building on that part. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to place 
sticky pistons towards the birch bark uh, blocks. So just keep moving this down, uh, one sticky for each birch bark block. So now you should have ended up with something like that. On the blocks on the left side, you can place two tick delay repeaters all the way down, and actually also one block below a two tick delay repeater. On the blocks on the other side, you can place torches on each one of them. On top of all the torches, you can place solid blocks. And on the other side, coming into the repeater, you can place blocks as well. Now we're going to get the following situation. We're going to get a signal from the torch going into the block, and that's going to go down on top of the glowstone here. And the reason it's I'm using glowstone is because glowstone can go through the block, seeing as it acts as if it's glass. Now, once it's done that, it's going to go a bit further to a torch, which will then get sent into the repeater below. Now, above that, so coming from another source, which is going to be uh, a button where we're going to get up there, I'm also going to send a signal to the repeater there. And as you can see, it's, it's starting to extend. Now I'm going to repeat this process, so two blocks like that, glowstone, two blocks like that. Just send a signal like that, towards your torch, and then just repeat the process. At the bottom, this is how low you have to go. Torch there, and then that's done. So let me look at it from the side should have ended up with something like that. With that circuit in place, we can now wire up the top button. So at the same position as the button below, we're going to get a signal from <coughs> straight from the button. And now we're going to use some glowstone, because glowstone prevents this from getting weird block updates uh, and stuff. Uh, right? Glowstone is the best block in the game, we talked about that in another video. And once we have that signal past uh, the piston, we're going to send it into this brown circuit. And this brown circuit is meant to extend the duration of the pulse from the button. If you're using a fast system, this is actually not necessary, but I do it anyways, uh, just for safe sakes, I guess. So this is just going to extend the signal coming from the button just a little bit. I'm just going to make it look a bit more fancy before we test it. Um, this is also one of those points where I recommend you make a backup of the world so you can retrace your steps because this has to work properly. Basically you can press the elevator, I stand in the middle, you can stand anywhere, it should go down smoothly like that. And if I press the button here now and I stand in the middle, it should go up fast like that. So that works, but we're not done yet. So let's make the calling on the top floor instant. What we're going to do is we're going to draw power from the orange circuit here. And that power is going to go to this redstone. It's going to get inverted. It's going to go... Actually, we have to put this one a bit higher. And we probably have to cut that off as well. It has to go a bit higher. You see it still works. And now we're going to cut that off as well. So like I said, this is still the not modular stuff. Once we got through that, once we get through that, what we can do is we can get started with the modular stuff. So here, top bit's weird. We've done that now. And now it gets modular. You get a block with a torch next to it, which is going to send power to a repeater but it's at the same time also going to send power to a block below that is going to go to a torch which is going to land on top of a block which is going to be like the block over there redstone dust torch going into repeater just keep going down until 
you reach the bottom. So again, torch going into repeater. And then down here you might think it gets a bit funny, but it actually stays the same. To a torch, which goes into a repeater. Um, now for fancy sakes, because we got uh, some glowstone like that, we're going to place buttons, which is going to make it a line, so it's not powering the block next to it. And that's one side, the orange circuit. On the other side, it's a bit different. We're going to lead power down here to a torch. That's going to go to another torch. And this torch is going to fire not into a repeater, but into some redstone. And then into a one tick repeater. And this is going to go down again. So this is where it becomes modular. To a torch, which is going to go into another torch. Just not going to fire into a repeater, but instead it's going to fire into some redstone, and that's going to fire into a repeater. Go down again, torch, torch, and that's going to fire into a repeater like that. And that's going to power the whole thing pretty quickly because it actually travels both up and down at the same time. It's important that you also place buttons here to avoid these uh, this redstone powering the blocks next to it. Um, and now once we've done that we can actually test the instant calling. So now it should call the floor and then go down. And let's test that again. Let's go down. And let's go up again. There we go. So, button top button works. Now all we have to do is add the white wiring and it's done. Okay, well, the white wiring is pretty simple actually. At least it's two of them. Um, one signal is going to get drawn from the black circuit here before it goes into the long delay. Then on the other side, you're going to get a 4 tick delay as well. And this is going to get inverted. And now what you're going to get is you're going to get a tower of pistons torches straight up. And there's no possible way of a north-south quirk in this setup, which is good. Oh. And once we've done that, all the way to the top. At the torches that are turned off, powered off, you're going to place blocks next to them. And from those, you're going to get one tick delay repeaters going into the magenta block or purple, whatever you want to call it. That's one side done. Now, the other white wire is a bit more complicated. Going back down here, I'm going to drop power. And this signal we're going to invert. Once inverted, we're going to send it into a block. And we can then safely let the signal travel up here. And as you can see, there's a torch here, but it doesn't do anything, so just knock it off. This actually also doesn't do anything. Pointless. And what we're going to get is a similar tower of wool and torches going straight up all the way to the top. And once you've done that, you're going to jump jump back down. And we're going to draw power a bit differently than on the other white uh, wire. If repeater, send it into a block with some dust. And then now we come into the modular section again. Repeater, but it's actually going to send power to both this wire and this wire. Same deal here. So dust, dust, repeater. Facing the right direction, obviously. And then your elevator's done. So let's give it a, give, give it a quick test. So 
So instant calling from down here. So next to the big one, now the small one. I'm just going to fancy it up and then uh, we'll close this off. I hope you guys are happy with the final result. I know I am. And uh, yeah, if there's any questions, feel free to comment. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.